Hello everyone! The spook season is unfortunately coming to an end. However, we acquired a ton of cool stuff for October. The Switch OLED came out. We had Metroid Dread. It was my birthday, so I got a ton of cool gifts there. Uh, I even found some fun little clearance games, and we got our first limited run game, some Amiibo, tons of stuff. Let's check it out. So first things first, I feel like we should start with the star of the show. I already made a video of this in an unboxing, but this is is the Switch OLED, which I'm absolutely loving. I love the screen, I love the colors. It's such a nice uh, device. I'm not really sure. I've already shared all of my thoughts about it with the uh, unboxing video, but I, I, uh, I, I'm I, happy I have it. It's definitely a, a must if you are a big handheld player. But enough about that. We've already seen this. Let's move on to the Metroid Dread Amiibo. I have been dying to open these up ever since October 8th, and I've, I've been so patient just for the haul video. I didn't even use these for the game. Not that they do much. I think it just gives you uh, energy tank and a missile extra missile capacity, but uh, I, I just want to really see these outside of the container. So let's open this up. All right, so let's check out uh, Samus first in her Metro in her uh, fusion suit. I really like her pose. It's so shiny too. It really has like that me metallic paint color to it. However, I think the cooler of the two is this Emmy Amiibo. She, the Emmys are just so creepy, huh? And now I have it in Amiibo form. It's, they're, I mean, they're definitely high quality Amiibos and I'm excited to have them. These are probably the last Amiibos that I'm gonna get through the year. So I, I better enjoy them because uh, I don't think the next ones come out until 2022. I, I'm, I mean, uh, they, they don't come out as often as they used to, but I'm definitely glad that they came out with this combo pack here because I'm such a big Metroid fan now. So enough about the Amiibo, the devices, let's look at the actual games itself. Now I wanted to start out with a couple of these games I found on clearance. They're kind of more on the shovelware side of things, but uh, I just wanted to show Tetris 99. Now I know you're really gonna laugh because this is a free game if you are subscribed to the Nintendo Online. However, I will point out that this includes 12 months of Nintendo Online and that is normally $20. I got this game for $10. So I got a physical version of a game and Nintendo Switch Online for half the price. I definitely think it was a worthy acquisition. This is what the back looks like. Let's open this up and take a look. This is the inside of the case. It actually looks like it has a little bit of work into it. It's got the control, basic controls for Tetris. I love when Switch games do this. It's just like, here are the simplistic controls to reference. Um, not that anyone forgot how to play Tetris. But uh, here's the cartridge. And I believe this physical version also has a single player Tetris mode. And so this is like the only way that you can play Tetris on your Switch single player without having to be connected to online and playing with 99 other people. So um, I'm excited to take a closer look at this because ever since Tetris and Poyo Poyo, Poyo Poyo Tetris, I think it's called, I've always kind of had more of an itch to play more Tetris. So this is the perfect opportunity. I'm just gonna put this book uh, back in here. All right, not all of these shovelware games are going to be exciting as that, as we have Gemino's Animal Pop Stars. Looks like this is just a sing ripoff for video game form. It kind of looks like a, like some kind of rock band thing with animals for kids. I don't know. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Wow, Gemino, so cool. This is what the cartridge looks like. I'm uh, I'm curious what this game is going to play like. Uh, tune in for the casual review. I'm sure it will be a five out of five game for sure. Next up, we got a, another game for the next year Spooked series, Goosebumps Dead of Night. This I got this one way too late to add it to this year's Spooked series. So we'll just uh, hold on to this for 12 months and uh, I'll, I'll let you know what it's like then. Got some cool inside cover art here. That weird little uh, dummy, I forget. Slappy, Slappy, yeah, I actually had a Goosebumps uh, trilogy book 
all three of Slappy, and there was a button that you would press on the book's cover, and his eyes would light up. That's my memory of Goosebump Slappy. This is what the cartridge looks like. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a banger, but you never know. It might be a fun game to play next October. Now we have Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 Grand Prix. All of you people who are so excited for the Nickelodeon Smash Brothers clone, I have the Nickelodeon Mario Kart clone. Although I don't hear nearly as many good things about this as I do about that other game that just came out. A little advertisement to play online with your friends. No uh, inside cover art here. We've been pretty lucky with these other ones, but uh, this is what the cartridge looks like. I don't know, it might be fun to try out for a night or two just to play around. Looks like, have you ever wanted to race in a go-kart with Cora? I have, and now you have the opportunity. We got TMNT, Danny Phantom, SpongeBob. I don't recognize that girl. Arnold, hey Arnold, in a go-kart. That's right up your alley, isn't it, Autumn? Oh, Arnold! Arnold! <laughs> Football head. And the last for our clearance games, we have Space Invaders Forever, because it's been around forever. I Space Invaders has always just been one of those games you play around for like five minutes and you call it a day, just at least for my generation. I'm sure it was a big deal for people back in the day playing on arcade cabinets, but uh, I'm not sure how much they change here. Might be fun just to play a couple rounds of Space Invaders every now and again, so let's uh, check it out. Oh, we got our little uh, pixel alien there right around the, uh, like this uh, realistic render of the world. That's kind of a fun uh, inside art there. This is what the cartridge looks like. Yeah, I don't know, Space Invaders, why not? For eight bucks, or I think it, this one might've been $10. For $10, why not give it a try? Some Space Invaders, it's a classic. Now we got some really good games. We're not just going through the uh, clearance rack here. We have The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This was a birthday gift given to me by my lovely wife. Um, as that's where I usually get all of my AAA Nintendo games is from her. So I'm excited. I love Zelda. It's a classic. I actually enjoyed the Wii version of this game a lot more than other people seem to have. Uh, I, let's see what's inside. I bet there's some cool cover art inside. There we go. I actually have the acrylic poster I showed off here in one of my other uh, Paul videos uh, a couple of months ago, I think I have an acrylic poster of this. I feel like I have all the merchandise revolving around this game and now I only needed the game left and I pretty much have every single Skyward Sword HD thing that's come out. I got the Joy-Cons, I got the acrylic poster, I have the Amiibo. So now all that's left is to play this game. This next one was also a birthday gift given to me by the biggest Pokemon fan that I know, my mother, who gave me new Pokemon Snap. I am I actually did a casual review for the original Pokemon Snap, and I talked about how much of uh, a love I have for that game and how much I wish they would make a second one, and they finally have... I am in the middle of playing this one, actually. I'm about like an hour in, and it's a it's a fun game for sure. I'm excited to kind of dive more into it. Uh, inside is like a, a silhouette of all these different Pokemon, which I think is, I, I like this one a lot. This is what the cartridge looks like. Yeah, for I'm definitely excited to uh, play more about this and uh, I'll casual review coming probably like in a week and a half, depending on how long it takes me to get through. But uh, thank you, mom, for my new Pokemon Snap game. I'm very excited to show off uh, some of my pictures. You might like them. Maybe you can borrow this game after I'm done with it. Now, I've already done a casual review about this one. We got Metroid Dread. What a fantastic game this was. I'm so excited to finally have it. Um, even a couple weeks later, having played it, it's still so fresh in my mind, and it left such an impression. I like the uh, case here, and the inside cover art is also pretty cool, where it has this like laser render of Samus and her original suit. I assume it's not like the fusion suit, because it's got like more green and red there, so... Uh, definitely a cool game. This is what the uh, cartridge looks like. 
yeah, check out my casual review if you want to know more about Metroid Dread. I also did casual reviews about all the other Metroid games this month as well, so definitely check it out. What a great game this one was. This one was kind of a birthday gift to me. I got Ori the Collection. This was from Target. It was only like $33, although it's hit that price everywhere else. Unfortunately, if you look right here, we got some damage on our, our cover here. And it's even like sealed. How does that even happen? I don't know why it bugs me so much, but it definitely does. I'm hoping I can kind of like get underneath the case and kind of smooth that out a little bit. I tried to exchange this at Target, but Target doesn't have any more copies of this. So it's like, I can get a refund for this, but I won't have the collection anymore. I don't know what to do about it. Let's just open it up. Um, I, in worst case scenario, I have to print off my own paper here. Um, but let's uh, I just want to check out what's inside. It looks like it comes up with some uh, extra goodies here as well Another one of those cases where it's a code. I don't want uh, people Using it so we're I'm just I just already took this one out uh, I just don't want you guys to see the code because I don't know when I'm gonna use it uh, But this is what the inside looks like Oh, it looks like it comes with some goodies, some postcards. So let's open up these. So we have some little postcard things to check out here, some artwork. There's the owl, some kind of lake. I mean, so I, I admittedly, I already played through the first Ori. I already own that digitally, but um, this is the collection. So it comes with both in a, in a physical cartridge, which is definitely worth it to me to double dip in that aspect. So I already know a little bit about it. And if there's one compliment I had to give about Ori, it would definitely be its aesthetic because it is such a beautiful game. And uh, this artwork just reflects on that. Very cool. This is what the inside cover art looks like. Well, there's our little uh, scratch there. Let me see if I can kind of smooth that out real quick. Well, I did what I could with it. It's, I think it is just kind of what it is. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that I've had to print off paper for a game case. I've gotten a lot of used games from GameStop which come up with their like own generic paper cover art. So uh, I guess I'll just have to add this to the list to one that I'll have to reprint later in the day. Uh, this is what the cartridge looks like. I'm excited to replay the first one and play the second one for the first time for sure. Definitely a sucker for these types of games. Now, if you are familiar with the company Limited Run Games, this is a game company that makes physical versions of games that otherwise would not get a physical print. And so I ordered my first copy about seven months ago and it finally came in. We have Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. Um, definitely a cool game and I recommend it. The This is probably the next casual review that's going to go up. So you can expect this one in just a couple of days. I finished it, loved it. It's like a uh, copy of Paper Mario. And anytime you order a game from Limited Run Games, they give you this little uh, collector's card. This is number 266, but it's my first Limited Run game. Um, also, whenever you order from Limited Run Games, they always seem to come with like these cool little goodies. Like we even have a little booklet here that shows all the characters and just fun stuff like that, that phys most uh, physical games nowadays don't have, like little uh, hints and uh, some fun little helpful recipes. It's a, it's a must have for a Bugs Fables fan, I would say. Uh, here, the inside cover art is like that, uh, those leaves that come before you go into a battle. This is what uh, the cartridge looks like. It's just the same as the uh, cover art. Stay tuned for this casual review. It's coming up soon. And uh, I'm definitely happy with my limited run purchase. It just sucks that it took so long to come in. In that same vein, we also have another limited run game that I ordered a couple weeks later, Castlevania Anniversary Collection. I haven't opened this one yet um, because I had my Metroid Marathon this spooked season. I'm planning on doing a Castlevania Marathon next year for next spooked season. Definitely a fun uh, uh, cover art here. It's, it puts you in the Halloween spirit. I just wish it came a little bit earlier so I could have played it, been playing it around Halloween, but it came a little bit later than that and that's okay. I'll just save it for next year. But let's open this up because this one also comes with some goodies. Oh man, this looks pretty sweet. It's got like that 80s aesthetic for that like a uh, 
met that like Castlevania aesthetic. You got the really buff He-Man looking guy. I'm sure I'll know more about all of this when I actually play through the games. It did come with a instruction booklet here. Looks like it kind of just tells you about each of the Castlevania games because this one comes with like seven or eight Castlevania games, which is awesome. I'm really excited to play through these ones. I'm, I'm, it's going to be a long year before I uh, am able to try out these games. I guess I could play them earlier, but that's not really fun. You got to save them for the spooked season, right? That's what the cartridge looks like. And outside of the case, this did come bundled with some other stuff. We have the limited run card for the uh, inside cover, it looks like. And then it came with this huge poster. Let's see if I can get it all in frame here. Okay, so I had to move the phone here. Looks like just a ton of information about all the Castlevania games. And this one flips around. Even talks about the Netflix series, it looks like. Here we go. It's like the the cover art for each of the Castlevania games. That's awesome. I wish Bug Fables came out with a poster like this. So that's it for Castlevania. I'm just gonna put the uh, card in here. And we have one last limited run game. This is not one that I ordered on limited run games, but you are able to get a couple of these at Best Buy months later. And uh, I kind of hesitated on this one because I do actually own the version on my Xbox 360. It went away for a long time, but uh, so it was kind of like a big deal when they did bring this game back. But uh, I, I wasn't that big of a fan of it. But when I saw it on, on uh, Best Buy's website, I kind of made an impulse purchase here. I had I have played through all of this game and uh, this one will be out after Bug Fables. Um, but it's just another limited run game. I know a lot of people really like this game. I just am not one of those. But uh, tune in for my casual review. You can hear my thoughts about that. I'm a huge Scott Pilgrim fan, however. I loved the movie as a teenager. So all of this stuff, I absolutely love the music and aesthetic in this game. Those are my biggest compliments I can give it. And so it's just cool seeing this like retro 16-bit graphic of Scott Pilgrim. Love that cover art. This is what the cartridge looks like. And we'll just look through the instruction booklet here. Looks like it's got some some goody stuff here, some good uh, information here. The uh, controls, combos, stuff about the characters. These are the the seven evil ex boyfriends. Exes, because we still have that one uh, number four. That's the overworld map. That's fun. I, I'm a big fan of what Limited Run is doing. Probably a little bit more expensive than a more casual gamer would like to spend, but I just love my my physical versions of games. So I'm, I like that someone out there is making physical versions of these games because otherwise they want to get them. Well, that's it for October. It was a really great month. Not really sure what I have in store for November, so it will all be a surprise. Tune in next month. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye!